people just aren't open in that kind of way and it's one of the things that makes it very difficult because everyone plays it very very close to the vest um in any sport maybe you don't get percentages but you're you're generally you're you're not you're in chess you're much more careful with what you say uh let's play d5 uh no I'm just being honest like I'm being honest I mean this is five years ago I would tell you that I think I'm like 85 90 percent against Daniel but this is not five years ago I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not as young as I once was unfortunately which is also why I can tell you guys that based on what's happened to me in bullet there's no chance of me sticking around and playing chess when I'm like 45 or 50. so that might make some people sad here but based on just bullet and, and knowing what I'm capable of my opponent blundered upon here um just just the frustration I have with myself knowing that I could play better at um at, at, at bullet like I can tell you I'm not gonna hang around and play like blitz or classical once my time is up um because like just knowing my frustration already with how I play bullet at times like I, I just it would just be too frustrating let's take the bishop um takes with the f pawn I think I'm gonna go here and put the bishop on h6 to cover up my king yeah but I will say I give a lot of credit to players like Vichy and Nod who keeps doing it let's go here and take playing a good game I'm playing a garbage game go here maybe take I have this weird pawn clump around my king go here maybe rookie eight oh, I blundered that too but who cares go here and rookie two I'm moving too slowly also let's go here and rook f5 um rookie three maybe Oops, that was a blunder. I'm going to come to your house and force you to play chess. Thank you. Yes, much appreciated. Yes, you're going to come to my house and force me to play chess. Okay, let's keep going. Yes. What are my odds against Magnus in a 45 minute match I don't know I mean Magnus is not on his best setup he did not play well yesterday against um against Min Lei. It was not even close to his best at all so uh, yeah apparently Coinbase is now VIP hiring chess GM types folks what do you mean Coinbase are you saying the Coinbase VIP is hiring chess type people I don't know what you mean by that you mean the you mean like the the uh one of like the vice presidents or something you you don't mean VIP you mean vice president right you're saying like the the vice president's hiring chess people is that what you mean um let's just go king b8 and queen c7 uh let's take um I'll play f5 here drop back let's go here dodge dodge the trick I'm gonna go knight f6 knight d5 I think go here knight d5 go here target the pawn okay that's a free juicer Go work d8 here. No, they've opened a VIP for, portal for extremely talented folk and other professions for any role there. I, I mean, I've told I I I've told you guys before. Like I, I've said it before. I have no interest in doing anything with crypto. I'm I'm a stock man. What can I say? I'm all about the stock market. It's been around for 300 years. Warren Buffett believes in it. I'm a big fan of Warren Buffett. So. I would never apply for a job there sorry sorry <laughs> Tezos is because of my partnership with Misfits why am I down on time every game by the way can somebody tell me why I'm down like on time why am I so low on time every game I have no issue with with um with uh I have no issue with um with uh with blockchain but the actual cryptocurrencies themselves they, they don't really I have no interest whatsoever good deep work you've been talking oh sorry is that why I don't know yeah I'm wondering why I'm so low on time and it's like something something's weird but let's go g4 night g3 uh no one seems to know I play at 2 30 Eastern I believe I think so I still have Ethereum but that's the only one I hold I bought Bitcoin at 900 sold it like I I, I don't remember I should actually look that up because I get asked that question like every other day but I sold it between 4,000 and 4,500 I took my four five hundred percent went home I was happy that's that's just my style you guys um and let's take go check and checkmate yeah so if BlackRock would have a similar offer you take it after time or for chess 
No, I wouldn't do that, you guys. I wouldn't do that. I'd, ra I'd rather go go sip a beer and talk to talk to fans than um than uh, go go work 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 at a hedge fund. Simple answer. I would. I'd I'd rather just go chill go chill and talk to fans. I like living in the real world as much as I can. The world of, like high finance, rich people, and all that all that stupid stuff is not my world. Uh, let's go bishop e3 and play rook d1 put pressure on the pawn play b3 here maybe knight f5 maybe take knight a4 uh let's just take go here target the pawn maybe f4 here um that's what tom what did tom holland just say did he really just say that do i really enjoy talking to fans yeah because actually i mean you're obviously a product of where of how you grow up i mean your, your circumstances and background uh 100 um is like a, i mean you're a product of where you grow up 100 and um and so to me, okay, let's take and go uh, here in 96 ideas. Um, so like, I didn't grow up in some like rich, uh, I, I didn't grow up in some like some rich from, I don't have a win, odd, how bizarre, how bizarre. Take, I'm, I'm up to pawns here. He's got ugly pawns, very, very ugly pawns. This should just be very cleanly winning. The, the king is cut off here, so it should be pretty simple. Uh, bullet will be here on kick, of course. Obviously on kick. Obviously on kick. So, no, no. So what, what I'm saying is, I mean, I'm uh, you're a product of where you grow up, and I didn't grow up in, with some rich background. And most of my most of the things that I recall that internally like were most important were the early days. When I when I when I grew up in California and like my mom needed her mo mother my grandmother to like sign off so she could even like rent a house in the first place so um, most of like the internal things that I've internalized over the years are related to like the really early days of my life before I before I grew up in New York like the first like seven years roughly in um, in California in the in the desert so let's go Queen D seven and rookie eight so or I meant to go rookie eight what did my mouse just do what the heck was Bishop B eight. I meant to touch the rook and it went bishop d8. What the heck was that? Um, okay. I don't know what that was. That was... Yeah, I went to touch the rook and it played bishop b8. I mean, I guess I went to touch the rook and I touched the bishop lightly and I touched b8. I don't know. Play h6 and hit the knight. Um, take. What do you plan to do with excess money? I already donated a lot of money to charity. Um, so, you know, let's take, play bishop g3. Go f5, maybe f4 here. Keep it very simple. Oh, he has queen c4 check. Very poor. Oh, he's 333. I didn't realize that. Um, uh, do you teach chess? No, I don't. I don't teach chess. Take the bishop. Yeah. A lot of touching today. Yeah. Don't blame the mouse. It was clearly your, your fault. Yes. Don't blame the mouse. Don't blame anybody. Be a man, right? Isn't that the saying? That's actually where I'm going to also give... This is, not, this is not really a hot take per se, but you know, one thing that I have to say... Is that if you're in a, if you're if you're an American and you're fortunate enough to travel around the world a lot, you know it's very important that when you travel, you actually learn something about the local culture and the customs and how the real world is outside of just your little bubble of the United States of, of America. Because like, I'll give you a good example. So like the the whole Agadmator thing that I saw on Twitter, like people are gonna think whatever you can think. You can think Tucker Carlson's the worst person ever. You can think Andrew Tate's the worst person ever. You can think whatever you want. You can think they're the greatest person. Ever. I really don't care what you think. Um, but at the end of the day, like people are acting all shocked that Antonio can like have like a very different viewpoint than a lot of us here in America have. And it, it reminds me a lot of how um, it reminds me a lot of how a couple of years back there was a, there, one, during one of the many tournaments that I played in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, the, after one of them, like we went out for this nice dinner, like Maurice was there. I was there. A bunch of us were there. And there was it wasn't really heated per se, but there was a sort of disagreement between um, between Maurice and Levon. And basically the, the i think it was around black lives matter like the police be, beating up beating up black kids you know the, the usual stuff that's really just unacceptable in our society and um at some point we were talking about that and then it went a little bit onto a different topic and and levon made this comment where he said he basically said it's amazing how progressive the u.s is what well, levon literally came out and said like the u.s is like it's really progressive it's amazing because within levon's context he's from armenia he's he's from a very different background different world and 
Levon, Levon said this, and um, and Maurice literally like looked at Levon like he was an alien. It was like the U.S. is progressive because obviously for Maurice he thinks of you know Scandinavia as being very progressive, like Sweden, um, Norway, etc. All those countries, and yet to Levon, Levon thinks the U.S. is like as progressive as it gets in a sense. And um, and it's amazing to me that sometimes we forget. I need to win this game, by the way. It's amazing to me that sometimes we forget that the rest of the world is just completely different. In terms of what people think and and we don't not everybody has like this like us us viewpoint let's play c6 and d5 here have i had black every game in this arena i think i have um so yeah like i mean regardless of what you think i just find it amazing the number of people who are just flat out racing like antonio can't possibly have a different point of view as though his view has to be the same viewpoint as like a lot of americans and it's just bizarre to me so that's that's my that's my the u.s is progressive relative to some places the u.s of course is also not relative rel, u.s is not progressive at all relative to other places you compare the u.s with scandinavia i mean it's just not but if you compare the u.s to say armenia or iran or azerbaijan or these countries in that part of the world it's completely different so yeah so so i mean that's that's the thing like I, when I see that stuff, it's just it's it's appalling to me how how out of touch people are. I think the U.S. is like literally the only place that you know the U.S. views U.S. centric views. It's all that matters. Uh, I go here. I hit the queen and the rook. So yeah. Just sack the queen for the rook and take the rook. I'm from Sweden. Um, and things are as great as it seems. Oh, I'm not saying things are great. I mean, everywhere has its issues, obviously. But I'm just saying that. To someone who's from like Armenia, like Levon, for example, he thinks of the U.S. as being like really, really progressive. And like Maurice, who's from the U.S., he was like, "Are you kidding? Like the U.S. is U.S. is a joke compared to like Sweden or Sweden or Norway or um, or Denmark or, or any of those countries." So it's all like, I mean, it, it's not even so much about what you think about it. It's just it's bizarre to me that people get so outraged over over these things. And so like Antonio's opinion is just so out there, so impossible to have. As so like, there's only the U.S. view, and that's the only one that matters. Okay, let's go King H1 and take. Take. Play so Bishop B3 here. Let's go F4. Try to plan the F file here. Yeah, there's actually the, the problem with this arena is I'm not getting there aren't enough strong players in it, unfortunately. So I'm playing a lot of low rated players. I guess it's good for them because they get to play me, but still. But yeah, anyway, that was that's just my one hot take for the day is that I, I just I, I find the whole thing kind of bizarre, frankly. I, I just find it bizarre. So, anyway. Let's take the knight. Take the queen. Let's go check. Work off one. Sorry for not being 3,000. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Go back and put this knight on f6 here if I can. Maybe I go here and rotate the other horse too. Let's go here and hit the, hit the rook. I have knight f6 next move. Go check. I guess I'll just take the rook here and take the bishop check and one important thing in bullet is you want to get the heavies off the board if you're ahead of material like here the bishop can't touch anything it can only go to dark square so you really want to get rid of the piece as much as you can <clears throat> oh let's just take I think I can create the wide peepos here yeah I can create the wide peepos and the pawns get split wide I, I split the peepos here. You can't stop the two peepos. Yeah, you can't split the peepos. Okay, let's play d4 here. Uh, play bishop f4 and e3. Play a London system. Main thing that I want to do is in this arena, I want to make sure that I'm moving at a relatively good clip. Like, my anticipations are good. Um, it's the main thing I'm looking for. They do play great, yeah. Some of these guys are playing amazing chess so far. Now I go here, knight b5, knight c7. Isn't progressive to a lot of different opinions? Well, like I said, like, the, that wasn't the point. I mean, like, everybody can have their opinion. But as I was saying, um, I just found, I found it kind of appalling how people are acting like... They, they, I feel like people are acting like Antonio has to have the exact same viewpoint as someone who lives, like, in the U.S. And it, it's just, like, it's just wild to me that someone who's from Eastern Europe, literally, like, thousands and thousands of miles away, like, it ha you're, you're expecting him to have the exact same viewpoint as, as an American. It's just bizarre. It's just actually bizarre to me. Um, let's go queen b8 and trade here. I 
All right, let's go bishop b5 and hit the knight. Uh, let's just drop the bishop back. I did. I didn't watch it. I, I don't really have any interest in watching it personally, but um, but no, nonetheless, like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna go out of my mind and like lose 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 everything over like Antonio like watching something like that. Like it's it's his life. He can watch whatever he wants to watch. Like people should worry about their own lives instead of trying to get outraged about all that kind of stuff. So let's go here. Let's play G three. Now I want to lock this up so that I can. There we go. Checkmate. Let's play D four. Knight F three. Maybe Bishop. No, let's play. Uh, let's play C four knight two. This guy's pretty decent raid. Twenty three hundred. So now it's a little bit, a little bit sketchy here at the start, but it's decent. So all right, let's go D five and H three here. Yeah, let's go G3, Bishop E3. But yeah, I saw a lot of people saying things like, you know, unsubscribing to Antonio, never watching his stuff again. It's just like, I know it's bizarre. Really, really bizarre. Really bizarre. Goes to F4, I guess I take and play Queen G4. Yeah, I mean, it's just wildly bizarre to me. Go D1. Who is Antonio? We're talking about Antonio Rodic. Taking Rook H1. I have G5, big threat. This might just be winning. I don't know how he stops it. He's F3, I guess. Um, That's a good... Oh, that's a great move. Let's go here. I think I'm winning here because I think I can run the king in. What am I doing? I'm, I think the king gets in and he loses. Yeah, the king gets in and he loses. Let's go here, pin the pawn. Now I start pushing. Pin the pawn again. Poor guy, now I just keep the pawn pinned. Go check and check and should be a mate. There we go. Is Benjamin in chat? Someone said hello, Bach. I didn't see Benjamin. Is Benjamin in chat? Play G6. Now the match with Dan is gonna feature a lot of these openings, by the way. Um, a lot of these same kind of openings uh, with Kings Indians, I expect. Uh, who is AK? That is Arena Kings, you guys. That is Arena Kings. Uh, let's just sack. I kind of just want to wind it. Oh, I don't have a smothered mate. Um, I was asking about playing Matt, playing Arena Kings. Of course not, you guys. I'm retired from Arena Kings. I, I, I really, I don't, I don't want to play Arena Kings ever again. That's the bottom line. I just don't want to play it ever again. Um, I, I've, I've really had enough of it. Whoa, I almost had a stalemate. Whoops. No. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't want to play it. Too many silly things going on. Too many shenanigans. Just doesn't interest me. What's going on with Antonio? Oh, there's just like Antonio retweeted a Tucker Carlson tweet. And everyone went insane. Yeah. Heard that one before you, you have. Um, let's just take play Bishop E3. Yeah, let's go here and castle. You put the knight on the rim. I can trap with G4 somewhere, so I'll trap it soon. Let's go E6, hit the knight, hit the queen. So, yeah, I mean, I, as I said, like, that's my one hot take for the day. Is I just found it absolutely appalling. But it's like everything these days. I find it truly appalling. I mean, there's so many things I find appalling these days. Just take and work D1. Oh, uh, this is a different shirt than yesterday. This is a shirt that I got in Mexico uh, from Riviera Maya when I went to the chess.com meetup back when chess.com was a piddly little company. Uh, it was a little indie company. Actually, it was crazy. So when I went to the chess.com meetup in Mexico where I bought the shirt, I think that that was when chess.com, there were real problems. They had to, I think that's when they were actually revamping the entire, entire um, uh, play zone, the entire play page. 
So let's go bishop h5. Yeah, let's go to 87. You're get you're getting old, so you're worse at bulls and getting angry, getting angry at everything. LOL. I don't get angry at everything, but like I said, it's it's a good barometer of, of why I'm not gonna play chess past 40. Um, because like I in bullet, like I can deal, I can deal with suck not being as good at bullet as I once was to some degree. But like if I can't play blitz, blitz anywhere near where I where I used to be able to play, then it's like that that's kind of the limit where it's like okay, then why why bother? Because you're just gonna get angry and be unhappy. Like, I mean, then why? I mean, I the last thing I want to do is turn into Gata. I mean, that's the last thing I want to do. Let's go F5 here and dominate the horse. Um, don't turn into Gata Kramnik yet. Oh, this is a very sexy uh, tactic. Very sexy. I remove the defender. Yeah. Play E6 and D5. I meant to go C5. My mouse is a little bit... Mouse is a little bit shaky here, actually. Not great. I mean, I think I have good chance to win the BCC, but it's going to depend a lot on... Um, it's going to depend a lot on whether I'm sharp. I mean, I, be, I need to win, what, three matches to win the event? I mean, actually, if I'm in the loser bracket, I need to win four. But but basically, it's, it's going to be a matter of can I start off hot. That's the bottom line. If I can start off hot in, in the matches that remain, I think I've, I have as good a shot as anybody. But um if i'm not hot then i think uh then i think it's gonna be it, it could be a big uphill battle so far i've been relatively okay i haven't been outright bad um so i i mean i i haven't been horrible like i haven't i haven't been outright bad but um but i haven't been great either let's go here and sack maybe no let's not uh yeah let's sack Uh, I never collected Pokemon. No, I never did that. Let's tickle, tickle him. Go here. I don't know what I'm doing in this game. If MBL tried some new openings, um, if MBL tried some new openings, uh, you think he'd be top 10 again? Not really. Um, let's go here. Uh, I think they're just checking the corner to mate him. Oh, uh, I mean, there's nothing, nothing. Um, let's go checkmate. Go e4, knight c3. Play a four knight of three here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think MVL's problem is MVL's lacking in motivation. Now, Fabiano was too nice in the podcast to mention MVL by name. Um, but when Fabiano referred to players losing motivation and not being as good as they once were, he was 100% referring to Maxime Vashi Lagrave. Even though he didn't say him by name, I'm like, I'm nearly certain that's who he was referring to. So, I mean, I, I think MBL, it's kind of, he's in this weird, weird zone. Um, COVID obviously play, played a huge role too, though. No, because Magus, not Magus, sorry. Um, Fabiano did refer to Magus by name at a different point in the uh in the um in the interview so no it's it, it, he was not referring to magnus there to be clear oh, i'm playing a 2600 a big boss go here uh i think i'm gonna lolly him on h on h6 and g7 soon i feel like there's a lolly incoming i guess i'll just sack the rook and go for mate No, he wasn't talking about Ding because Ding even Ding is not playing any worse than he's ever played. No, good night of six. When is my match against Dania? It is at two thirty Eastern. Um, how many diamond accounts do I have? I, I think they're all diamonds, but it's just Chess.com just diamonds them. Um, he might have lost his motivation since Ali Reza moved to France. Like I do know that Maxime. Uh, was not thrilled by by how much support Ali Reza got when he switched to France relative to the support Maxime got in the years prior as a number one fr French player. So, um, you know, I I don't know if that played a role too, possibly. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. No, I I mean, I, I don't really have a good good read on 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 Max. The reason for Maxime's uh, sort of, I don't want to say downfall, but the reason he's not as good as he once was. Go, oh, I meant to go over C8. What the heck? 
The second time where a piece is randomly... I've gone for the Rook and somehow the other piece goes to B8. If this happens in my match, I'm going to scream. I'm going to actually scream if this happens in my match. It's a it's lodge attack, yeah. Oh, let's just sack and go for the kill. True, poor Maxime got pushed out by a refugee. LOL. Not funny, you guys. Not funny. Not funny. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny, you guys. Not funny. Yeah. Go Bishop C4 and play D3 here. Uh, and play H3, Knight G2, Knight, Knight G2, Knight G3. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know with Maxime. I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly know what it is. But I think it's just. Uh, I think it's probably just playing. He's, he's been playing. Um. Uh, he's been playing the same openings for so long now that also probably sapped some of the motivation, honestly, too. Because when you play the same openings for your entire career, it's like, what's the point? Like, when you play Nidorf every year since you've been, like, 10 years old, like, I mean, that also kills the motivation at some point. Um, let's use D's Knights. I think it's actually a forced checkmate here. I've made, made on H7, or I use D's Knights to hold each other at night, and a checkmate. It's a very cute checkmate. It, it is funny, though, because, um, because Maxime was, in the very early days when I first started streaming, or, or when stream was very nascent, in 2019 there was a time when I, I think i did a saturday stream i played blitz maybe it was like an arena that we're doing now but i did an arena on the chess.com channel and i think one week it was me the next week it was actually maxime so maxime was there in the very earliest of times um with the possibility to do streaming but he never really got into it i don't remember what it's called it's called like saturday it's called like saturday uh saturday what was it called i don't remember but, but whatever it was it was on it was on the chess.com channel and um and uh it was on the chess.com channel and, and i did it one week and and the next week it was maxime so no it wasn't nagamura's knockouts it was on my channel already but uh what was it called i should google it um i think it was like saturday blitz chesscom maxime Vashi the grab maybe that'll pull it up it's so old though that probably i Oh, there it is. I found it. Yes, it was GM Maxime Vajilagrov subscriber Saturday on chess.com, I think. Four years ago. Oh my God, four years ago. I'll have to pull that up in a second. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Four years ago. Unreal. Unreal. take the bishop oh I almost lost game on time yeah so just to show you guys what I'm referring to like here's, I'm just gonna pull this up for one second but like just to give you guys an example this is how long ago it was but yeah if I change the scene to um let me just change it to this one like yeah th this is what I was referring to so this is four years ago let me turn the chat off for one second but um but uh where where's why is chat turn off chat like this is an example like like, like this is an example Right. yeah four years ago it says yeah, four years ago no. four years ago my god yeah so anyway i just want to i just want to mention that because this yeah see four years ago yeah they, they did they did subscriber saturday um they did subscriber saturday so let me change the scene of course uh, let me put the music back on. But yeah, that's what I was referring to. So Maxime was actually doing it. Maxime was actually doing... Uh, he, he was doing it some too. Let's go C6-D5 here. Yeah. Four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. It's crazy. So yeah, so Maxime was actually... He did a couple of those as well. I think he was the other person at chess.com. was like... They, they thought he had some potential to get into it. But never, never ended up happening. So, you know, it is what it is, as, as the saying goes. 
Let's go here and trade some bishops. I guess MVL will never really adapt to online chess. Yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe. But still, still. Do you remember? Yeah. I remember too. He needs those French French jams. Okay. Uh French jams. Okay, let's listen to some some French jams and here we go. In honor of uh, in honor of Maxime or whoever said he should jam out with French jams. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's take. Oh, Champs Elysees. Oh, Champs Elysees. Oh, Champs Elysees. Sous la pluie. Vous voulez au Champs Elysees? Oh, wait, I'm down time. What the heck? Down time. What am I doing? Oh, I hung my rook. It's a draw. <laughs> Go Karo Khan again. Too funny. Let's take and go here. Please. Actually, the music is killing me too. Let me go back to my regular playlist. Enough. Enough, enough French music. Let's go back. Uh, let's take. Let's go here. Uh, <laughs> that was too funny. Okay, let's take and go uh go here in F5. Yeah. Could I flag Dan like that? No, Dan, no, I would have lost the game uh hundred percent of the time against Dan, yeah. Yeah. Go here in Castle. But yeah, so anyway, I mean that's the thing like I, th I think for Maxime like he did a couple of those things in the very early days we never really got did I start streaming because of chess.com yes I did I did I've spoken about it many times um go take and take go e5 and takes I guess I've got a very big black center here uh let's bring the king in I guess do I do enjoy streaming a lot or does it feel more, more like work? It feels, uh, it feels like fun, honestly. I, if, it, if, it, if, I, if I didn't, if it wasn't fun, I wouldn't be able to stream the hours I stream every single day. I, I will say that. Like, if it, have I ever thanked Danny Wrench? Of course I have. Um, again, I'm way down on clock for some unknown reason. But there should be like a win here. I'll just take and go here. Again, getting the heavy piece off the board, very critical in bullet. What is my involvement in Pog Champs? I have no involvement. I I asked um I asked X if he was playing, but he didn't respond to me. So I don't know if he is or he isn't playing. Um. So play e5 here, knight c6. Danny seems to want to take credit. I mean, he can take the initial the the very early credit, but he's not the only only reason. Um, go here and take. Go c5, like bishop e6. I'm getting the same Eugen guy over and over. Oh, I just hung a pawn for no reason. Uh, I might lose this game. Better pick up a speed. Thunderstruck. Go here. That's a free bishop, and now I should win the game. Put the bishop on the great dyad. Classic wooden shield, by the way. Uh-oh, there goes the rook. XCC couldn't check me with the king and queen yesterday. I wanted to cry. He couldn't? Really? Did he forget the basic themes? You think Tang will come out of loser's bracket? I think Andrew... Actually, I will say this. You know what's interesting? I think with Andrew, because he doesn't play as much online as he wants, I think Andrew's actually significantly weaker than he used to be. Yeah. For 92. So let's just castle. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think Andrew doesn't play as much. I think he's actually weaker at Bolt than he used to be. I think Andrew used to be much better at Bullet. 
Are uh, you the king of kick, really? I do what I can, you guys. I mean, a lot of people hated me when I when I made the initial switch over, but I'm having a blast. I'm enjoying it. Trying to grow chess on a new platform. I can't complain. We had 12,000 viewers the last two days. We'll probably get somewhere near there today as well during the BCC when I play uh, when I play Dania. Um, but yeah, I'm just having a great time enjoying it. And what, what more needs to be said? We're growing chess on a new platform. It's great. Will I ever react to my first stream? Um, I think I've tried. I don't, I, I don't have it in my VODs on Twitch. Um, and maybe there's some snippet from it on, on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure, but at any rate, yeah. Thanks so much to Darks for the host of nine viewers. Thanks so much to Darks. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let's take it with the queen. Let's go to IP five check or take a mate. Uh, chess.com has it on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, we're about an hour and 17 minutes away from uh, from from the start of the losers bracket, which I will cover because Andrew's playing, Minlay's playing, Jose Martinez playing, lot lot of big matchups. Oops, I hung a bishop. Or wait, no, I didn't. Check and take. Go here, hit the pawn. Do you think I win versus Dan? Like I said, I think on average I'm a favorite. I think because it's 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes, I would put my odds at about 70-30. I think I think if it was if it was pure 30 minutes, it'd be 66-33, a pure two to one. I think with uh, 45 minutes, that gives me better chance to win the match. Doesn't mean I'm going to win the match, but I would put it at about 70-30. Take and play rook a2, I guess. Hit the knight and pawn. What is it like to live in the best state in the USA? Uh, what is the best state in the USA by your definition? I don't know what you mean by that. I know what you mean by that exactly, bro. Flow right of Florida is not the best state in the U.S. Um, if you were to ask me to give like my my honest take, what the best state in the U.S. is, I would say the best state is um. I would say it's probably something like uh, something like Oregon or, or Washington. Actually, if you were to ask me, I would say it's probably Oregon or Washington. Colorado is fine. Hawaii is fine. But I would say it's probably something in the Pacific Northwest, probably Washington and or like Oregon. I would probably put those states up there. Let's go D5 and trade. Uh, let's go D6 here and Queen 2. Do I miss my office in LA? Of course I miss my office in LA. But you know what's crazy about LA is that... Um, uh, TSM moved out of their office. So the office space that TSM was renting that I went to every day for probably like two years, um, they no longer have that office space. So they, they, they don't have that office space anymore because obviously esports franchise has been way overvalued and they can't afford it. So um, like I, I, I miss it on the one hand, but if I was still in LA, it wouldn't be the same thing. It wouldn't be the same thing. Let's play E4. Go here, Knight of three and take. I mean, Massachusetts is probably one of the best healthcare systems. I know that much. Um, just take. Yeah, I'm talking purely as a state to like live in all the like the, the general things. So I thought Oregon, Oregon more so than Washington, you can sort of, you, you don't have to, I thought there was good like transportation. There's like a lot of outdoor stuff. I, I, th I thought Oregon was generally ranked pretty highly, but maybe I'm wrong. Massachusetts is just too cold. I mean, that, that is true. Like who wants to live in a cold state? Um, let's just go here in C 4 Did you ever watch a TV show House with, with Hugh Lowry? Yeah, I did watch it. Let's take and take. Yeah, Washington is great, but it's, you're right. Washington is much more expensive thanks to uh, all those all those bad people who, who uh, those billionaires who uh, don't pay their fair share of taxes, as Bernie would say. Um, so that's true, actually. Yeah, Washington is very expensive now. That, that is a good point. Play H4, Knight F4. I want to go to H5 and use these Knights. Yeah, I did watch Beef on Netflix. I thought the sh the show was like one of the wildest shows I've ever watched. It was really wild. It was wild to watch Beef. It was really wild to watch it. Uh, I think I can just take the pawn here. Yeah. If someone doesn't know how to drive, they say screwed. No, there are a few states you can live in. Primarily New York. If you live in New York, you don't need to drive. Um, uh, but if if you live almost uh, anywhere else, you do need to drive. But that's that's also why like I'm I'm very proud that. To, that I live in America because that means that I do have to drive unlike every other top chess player who doesn't know how to drive at all um so I am very proud of that let's go bishop h5 and hit the pawn on f7 go bishop g5 let's harass the queen um uh, I could take on f7 but I think I'm just gonna go queen h7 here yeah 
I don't train bullet at all. I only play these events. I, I just I like I I don't train it at all. Go here. Uh, Magus doesn't drive. He 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 bought a Tesla, but I think his dad drives a Tesla. Um, the, I think Anish maybe has a license now, but I don't think Anish really drives. But he's the only one I think in the top ten who possibly drives. Fabiano doesn't drive. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it up just so I can see. Yeah, I mean there's there are very few people actually. Let me let me pull up twenty seven hundred chess. It loads. Okay. So if you guys are asking me how many of these people above 2700 drive let me let me let me uh let me let me tell you guys who drives okay let me change the scene um there we go so you guys are asking me how many how many of these people actually drive and i'll tell you right off magus does not drive hikaru does drive fabiana does not drive ding as far as i know does not drive nepo does not drive Ferruja does not drive giri he might have a license now but i don't know I mean, Jan, Jan, maybe now, maybe now, because probably got like a fancy car for winning, for playing the world championship. I wouldn't be shocked if maybe he knows how to drive, but I don't think he drives, um, drives much, if at all. Um, Anish has a Tesla, but I, I thought his wife mainly drove. I know, I remember something about getting license. Anish might have gotten a license recently, so maybe he can drive, but Anish also lives in the Netherlands. Nobody drives in the Netherlands. Everybody bicycles and walks and uses public transportation. Wesley does not drive. Vichy does not drive rapport i don't know about he might drive but i i don't think he does um sergey does drive sergey actually does drive i i know this timor likes to, likes his fancy cars and bitcoin so timor i think also drives here or there gukesh doesn't chakra same as timor doesn't really drive much but he, he has his fancy cars in azerbaijan as well so I, he might drive um Richard, I don't, I don't know about Richard. I really don't know much about Richard. Levon does not drive. Le Levon does not drive. Um, Maxime, as far as I know, doesn't drive. Dominguez, I would think Dominguez probably drives by now. I would think because he lives in St. Louis. I, I would assume he drives, but I honestly don't know. Grishuk, I don't think drives. Yu Yangi doesn't drive. Laquang, as far as I know, doesn't drive. Duda does not drive. So yeah, already you're like outside the top twenty. Yeah. Yeah, wait, he car is number two. I know it's like 2015 all over again, you guys. Um, it's 2015. So yeah, I am number two in the world right now. I'm ranked two, uh, 2787. No big deal, but it's still good. Yeah, I do drive. Yeah. So many people, yeah, because of course most chess players are not American. The US is the only country where you have to know how to drive. Everywhere else you don't need to drive. Um liter literally, like where where do you need to drive? Uh let's play A6 here play c5 there's seven billion people in your number two okay whatever who cares I, i'm a streamer you drink and drive no nobody does that that's bad don't ever do that don't ever do that let's play bishop d7 here uh, let's go knight f6 and 94 bishop d6 your rap lane is weirdly deflated that's because i had one real i had like one really bad tournament um i'm gonna take and use the bishop versus the knight here um but yeah, so what was I saying? I was saying something else. Um, I was gonna say something else. Yeah, so most top GMs don't drive. Um, and Poland public transport drives you basically, uh, public transport sucks, so you need to drive. I, I mean, I don't know, maybe Duda drives. I don't know, I've never heard of him driving though. And he just, he doesn't look like somebody who would drive. I mean, he just doesn't look like somebody who would drive. But I could be wrong, obviously. Yeah. Go Rook D8 here. Go a5 here i like driving I, i've driven across the country many times uh maybe not always in the most responsible fashion i i've said it before but i oh wait i'm on time i gotta win the game i'm talking this is why i can't talk this is why i don't play bullet actually on stream because or, or i don't do bullet much because like i can't talk the way i want to without ending up down on time and if i was playing a good player i would lose or i was playing a, uh, one of the top players i should say let's be politically correct here what am i doing Ah, move. Oh, I couldn't get Rook H8 in time. Ah, I couldn't get Rook H8 in time. Frustrating. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Go here in E6. 
or I meant to go e6 not bishop e6 whatever same thing um yeah I drew the game let's go c5 knight to six here um but what was I I was saying something I, for, I forgot where I was what I was saying I was saying something um oh, that's a free piece what was I saying I was saying something um I for, I completely forgot what I was talking about before the oh yeah yeah so I was saying yeah so basically because I did a drive I drove across the country I drove from St Louis Missouri to um Seattle Washington if you go on Google Maps and you look at St Louis to to Seattle I think it says something like 30 let, let me check actually um St Louis to Seattle by car let, let, let me see yeah it shows it as 31 hours okay it shows the drive as being 31 hours I just looked at it via via I-90 West 31 hours 2083.5 miles so it says 31 hours and I did that drive I think in 33 hours so yes that that's not exactly the uh not exactly the best thing in the world so um yeah let's go c3 let's go check and take and take yeah let's take yeah let's go check and take on d3 yeah I, I remember what happened is I fell asleep at a um or not fell asleep sorry I took a break and I slept for like I I, I wanted to like sleep for like eight hours I, I stopped at like a, a rest area in Colorado um somewhere 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 I think just outside of Denver I was gonna sleep for like eight hours and I went to sleep and I woke up an hour later I'm like okay well I'm awake I might as well just go let's go here and take but the reason I'm the reason I, I know that it was not responsible is because when I did when I when I did that drive like I don't remember I don't remember the last like hour of that drive like I have no recollection I have no recollection um of the last hour of that drive so yeah I, I, I don't even remember I don't even remember doing it let's play Queen d3 why did I do it because I was going to Vancouver to see some friends so let's go here and take no no it's be, it's because it's, be, it's because I had no sleep no I had no sleep I was on no sleep so I like I couldn't remember I just don't remember it and I know it's it's true because um my trainer Chris Littlejohn he said the same thing like he's done many of these long drives like back to Dallas from St Louis and other things and um and like there, there are times if he drives too long like, he just doesn't remember it like if you're if you're too like sleep deprived you don't remember it yeah take and take compare the size of America to Japan America is massively bigger although I mean you can't drive but if you could drive to uh to Okinawa Okinawa is what like a five-hour plane ride from from the mainland I think like d4 and take I think I think it's a five-hour drive um let's go f3 and takes and go bishop f2 I thought it was a five-hour plane ride from uh from like from like Tokyo to uh to Okinawa but maybe not let's play h5 bishop h4 oh it's like two hours max okay so I'm I'm insane okay let's go king oh, I meant to go b1 not d2 what is that anyway yeah Japan is like the size of California but those of us who are so old we remember the days when the the um the, the royal the royal palace and and the grounds around it in uh in Tokyo were worth more than the entire state of California back in the good old days back when Japan was about to take over the world play a4 and b6 and fish a6 some of us are that old I, I remember those days uh let's just take and put a knight on d4 maybe go c5 and knight d4 here I'm not used to fast shadow kick because I just joined kick yesterday ah ha ha yeah yeah what what's what about no I mean I mean in the late 1980s the 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 Royal Palace in Tokyo was worth more than the entire state of California so literally Japan could have just like been like okay you know we're, we're just gonna buy the, we're just gonna sell the Royal Palace no more no more monarchy and we're gonna buy the entire state of California and we're gonna take over the world but it didn't happen that way and as we know of course uh real estate was way overvalued at the time let's go d3 it's not the best way to play but I want to sack a queen I don't need a queen in my life let's go rook d3 a knight before here or knight d4 I should say go here hit the queen so uh, let's go c3 maybe rook d1 let's take oh uh, why did I just play 94 what the heck I'm blundering this game away oops there goes the queen I tricked him 
I tricked him. That's GG. Yeah, he resigns. Let's keep going. Uh, let's play D4 here. Let's see, 4 knight C3. Um, someone says, what is a great train routine? I mean, there are many ways to train. Many ways. I'm sure this, they can sell a Hikachu statue for California. Yeah. Uh, but no, for anyone who's asking, no, I've definitely considered myself American. I grew up with like, I mean, my mother's white. My grandmother's white. I don't, I mean, I, I didn't really spend much time in Japan as a kid. So I consider myself American. Um, so yeah. Play knight g3 and play like trade and queen h6, something like that. Go b4. Okay, let's go h6, maybe bishop e2 and castles and f4. I mean, I speak a little bit of Japanese. I did study in college, um, but not really. Because the problem with Japanese is that, not even just Japanese, but like Chinese, Korean, what, which, you know, Arabic, Arabic, Farsi, all these, all these languages, um, is that at the end of the day, like they have a different alphabet. And that's the problem. It's like, you know, for, for example, if I look at languages like Italian or French, like that, uh, you know, it, it might not be easy to learn them, obviously. But the bottom line is that with them, like I can go on a website, I can look at something in French or Spanish, it's the exact same alphabet. So it's very easy for me to at least try and get into it. Um, whereas the other ones, it's just like, uh, you know, not to sound weird or anything, but I said before, it's like, I mean, if I look at like Arabic or something, it's like, or Arabic, or even my stepfather's main language, which is Sinhalese, it's like, it's just a bunch of little squiggly lines. Like, I can't, I mean, it's squiggly lines. Like, I can't read it. Japanese and Korean, Chinese, same thing. It's not squiggly lines, but it's little boxes and lines through it, little arrows up this way, that way, whatever. Like, I mean, I just like, I, it's like too much. I mean, maybe we're, maybe, maybe I'm just stupid, but like, anyway, let's play Queen G4 and hit the pawn. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously, I'm obviously being fairly facetious and making jokes, but I'm, I mean, but the thing is like, if I look at Spanish or Spanish, Italian or French, like, let's be honest, like I look at those languages, like it's the exact same alphabet. Like I, I it, like if I, if I go buy a book at the store, I look, it's like, it's in our alphabet. It's a word, it's a word. I don't know what the word is, but it's the same alphabet. And then I can go read like an article online and, or try to read it and you can pick it up. But then it's like, then it's like, okay, I go to the store, I buy an Arabic book. It's like this squiggly 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 okay i go online i see other squigglies like sorry what like it's not i mean like what it's just not the same thing that's the thing although to be fair i think in japanese they um let's play unpeasant. peasant in japanese i think they now have romaji which is of course like uh it's um they do they do have romaji now which is basically um which is like japanese using the uh using the uh using the roman alphabet so, I mean, at least with Japanese, they've done it. I think with, with Farsi also, there's like Pinglish or something, which is the same kind of thing, where they, they, they actually, they, they do it with, with, uh, with, the, with the Roman alphabet too. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's all like, it, it's all impossible. That's the problem. Go here, Knight G6. And take. Knight moves, right? Knight moves. I want to mate with the knight for the song. Use the knight. How do I mate him with the knight? Checkmate. There we go. Use the knight. Knight moves. Knight moves are very good in this in this position too. Just take and use the knight. Let's meet with the queen here. So yeah, anyway, that that's the bottom line. That's like with Japanese, like it's it's not realistic because even if I study in school and I hear certain words over and over, you know, some of the words come back to me. But the problem is like I just I can't I can't read it. And if, if you can't read it anywhere, it's impossible for me to get into it. Like, I mean, like, 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 like Spanish, Italian, French, I can just go online and read a newspaper article, like on any random site, or even a news article. Like I, I can read anything and I can immediately, like, I can, I, it just like it processes because it's the same, same, uh, same alphabet. But with, um, but with like the, the other ones, it's just impossible. The language isn't made for it to be easier for you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Obviously 
I'm that ego driven that I think that every language should be made for me. <laughs> uh, let's go check and mate. Yeah, play e4. Um, okay, let's play uh, c3, d4. We're gonna wind it down here. I think I'm gonna get back to some blitz for a little bit. Am I good in GeoGuessr? I am. Um, I'm fairly good at GeoGuessr. Fairly good. Just take and just cast. We'll play rookie one. Simple chess. Guard the pawn against an IG6 threat. Cyrillic is, I mean, I, Cyrillic I've I've looked at here or there, which is, of course, the Russian alphabet. Um, Cyrillic is close enough that you kind of can. It's like, you know, of course, when you go when you go through uh, when you go through Russia, you obviously see, you know, Pectopa, or at least if, if you were using the English words, you see Pectopa all, all, all over the place. So like, you can you can sort of figure out what's what, are, you know, the R is, of course, a P and, and all these other little things, um, because, of course, when you're there, you see you see the signs on restaurants all over the place. But um, in general, like Cyrillic is closer, but still, like I, I just don't really like the Russian language personally, so it's not my thing. But uh, it's close; it's definitely much closer. I would say that it's definitely much closer. Take. Look at the, the knight moves here. Moves. Do you think you're one of the most attractive streamers? I literally don't care, you guys. I know, of course, I'm not a male. Be serious. Let's play 95 here. Oh, can I use the knight moves? No, because I lose. Okay, let's go rookie one. Go here and take. Wait, did he say interactive? Oh. Uh. Wait, let me scroll up. Did he actually? <sighs> yeah, he said, do I think I'm one of the most interactive streamers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. That's what happens when you try to read. That's what happens when you try to read chat when you're playing bullet. You suddenly you just completely misread words altogether. Yeah. Let's go here and take the pawn. It does take. Uh, de yeah, so to answer your question, yes, definitely from an interactive standpoint, I interact as much as I can with chat. I said it before, I said it many times, actually. I mean, the single biggest uh, reason for that is I back, I want to say, like, very end of 2019 into early 2020 when I started, like, uh, really getting into streaming. I watched some episodes of the show on Amazon. I think there were only two episodes altogether. Uh, but I watched the episodes on both Myth as well as Pokimane. And it, specifically, uh, it was on Amazon Prime Video. It was... Uh, it was like called streaming life or I, I don't I forget what it was called. Um, what was it called? Streaming life or something? Uh, prime video. I, I don't want to lose too much time. Uh, let's just play rookie seven. I was watch streaming IRL is what it what the show was called. And, um, let's go here. And there, there were two episodes, one on Pokemon, one on myth. I watched them both, but the, the episode on Myth specifically, there's one thing that Myth said in it that really resonated with me. And I've, I've, I've always, it's sort of been like the, one of the main mottos of my streaming, which is that like, you, you never want dead air. Like Myth said something like basically every, I think he said something like, you know, someone comes in and watch your stream and you have like, you, you have like 60 seconds to impress them or something like that. Um, before they go and they go, before they leave and go somewhere else. And I've always, um, uh, I've always, I've always sort of believed that, that like that's the, that's the bottom line. You like, you always want to be, um, um, let's go a three. And now I fix the pawns. I run the King up. Go here and here. Mate. So, so yeah. So like the thing is you never want dead air cause you have to keep people interested. And so you have to be really interactive and always engaging. And that's where I, that's where I uh, picked it up from in case anyone's wondering why I just talk like nonstop. Um, so, go king e2, knight f3. Uh, you impress the viewers by being number two in the world. I don't care. Take. Uh, let's walk my king towards the center of the board. Maybe king c2. Let's take and go like queen f3. Or no, let's go here. Am I actually shy and reserved to IRL? No, absolutely the exact opposite. I'd love to go grab a beer with my viewers. The problem is you don't know how many viewers are actually like 
viewers versus hate watchers versus every all the other stuff that goes along with it that's the only problem um let's go check in here as a viewer i can say that i've uh, i've left streams when they don't interact yeah i mean i don't know if it's completely true obviously like i i go over the top with it like i just talk non-stop over and over and over again and there are plenty who uh talk a lot but they there there is dead dead air time um so i don't know if it's like if it's 100 percent true but i think certainly that it is true that when new viewers come in and they and they watch a stream like if you're just very monotone you're not really excited you're not interactive at all uh people will leave very quickly that i do believe to be very true so um i, I mean i i think that's true absolutely all right let's log in with my main account and we're gonna get back to playing blitz